Hi guys, this is O Level Chemistry, paper 11, November 2016, question 31. An element Z from group 2 of the periodic table reacts with chlorine, an element from group 7. So the compound form would be ZCl2. What is the formula of the ionic compound form? So the formula is ZCl2 as we worked out just now, making option A the correct option for this question. Question 32. The table shows treatments used for drinking water supplies and reasons for using those treatments. Which row is correct? Chlorination removes taste? No. Use of carbon removes taste. Desalination removes solid? No. Filtration removes solids. So filtration removes salt? No. Desalination removes salt. And use of carbon removes odors? Yes. Carbon removes both odor and taste. Therefore, option D is the correct option for this question. Question 33. The table shows some amphoteric pollutants and their possible effects. Which row is not correct? Atmospheric pollutants. Not amphoteric. Atmo atmospheric pollutants. Which row is not correct? So CFCs cause depletion of the ozone layer. Yes, this row is correct. Carbon dioxide forms photochemical smog. No, carbon dioxide is a greenhouse gas. Carbon monoxide is poisonous to humans. Yes, it binds to hemoglobin and prevents the uptake of oxygen. Nitrogen dioxide forms acid rain. Yes, it is a catalyst in acid rain formation. So the only pollutant gas and its effect that is mismatched is the one in option B, making option B the correct option for this question. Question 34. How many moles of ethanoic acid react with one mole of magnesium? So magnesium forms the Mg2 positive ion, which will bind to two ethanoid ions because one ethanoid ion has a charge of negative one. So in order to balance the two positive charge on the magnesium ion, two ethanoid ions would be required. Therefore, magnesium would react with two moles of ethanoic acid, making option B the correct option for this question. Question 35. With which substance will ethene react to form more than one product? Ethene does not react with argon. Ethene reacts with hydrogen to form ethane only. Ethene reacts with oxygen to form CO2 and H2O, this is more than one product. And ethene reacts with steam to form ethanol, which is also only one product. Therefore, the reaction with oxygen produces carbon dioxide and water. The reaction is known as combustion. And option C is the correct option for this question. Question 36. The diagram shows structures of two hydrocarbons, X and Y. Two students make the following state, statement. Hydrocarbon X is an isomer of Y. So X has the molecular formula C4H10, while Y has the molecular formula C4H8. Since the molecular formula are not the same, hydrocarbon X is not an isomer of hydrocarbon Y. And student two says, hydrocarbon X is unsaturated, but Y is saturated. X is saturated because it has all single bonds present and Y is the one that is unsaturated due to the presence of a double bond. So student 2 has not stated saturation and unsaturation of compounds correctly. So which students are correct? Both 1 and 2? No. 1 only? No. Two only? No. Neither one and two? Yes. Both students are wrong, making option D the correct option for this question. Question 37. The diagram shows the structure of an ester. What is the name of this ester? So in order to name this ester, the part that comes from the alcohol contains three carbon atoms. So it will be called propyl. And the part that comes from the 
carboxylic acid contains four carbon atoms, so it will be called butanoate. So the name of this ester is propyl butanoate, which is the correct name present in option C, making C the correct option for this question. Question 38. An unsaturated hydrocarbon with six carbon atoms contains only three carbon-carbon double bonds. This hydrocarbon is reacted with an excess of hydrogen at a higher temperature. What is the formula of the resulting hydrocarbon? So, in the reactant, there are three double bonds present. So, the product would have six hydrogen atoms added to it. So, the product form would be an alkane. So, the general formula of an alkane is Cn H2n plus 2. So, if the value of n is 6, the value of 2n would be 12 plus 2, giving us the hydrocarbon with the molecular formula C6H14. So, this makes option C the correct option for this question. Question 39. Compound Q has the formula C4H10. Which statement about compound Q is correct? It undergoes addition reactions with chlorine? No. It is an alkane. It will undergo substitution reactions with chlorine. Next, it has a lower boiling point than methane? No. It will have a higher boiling point than methane because this has got a higher MR. It has the same general formula as methane? Yes, it is an alkane. Alkanes have the general formula Cn H2n plus 2 which is true for methane, which is true for butane. There are four carbon-carbon bonds in the molecule. No, because there are four carbon atoms, so there would be one, two, and three carbon-carbon bonds present in the molecule. So this is incorrect. Therefore, the correct option for this question is option C. Question 40. Hydrolysis of R, a macromolecule, gives a mixture of amino acids. What is R? So, amino acids are monomers for the polyamide called proteins. So, is it a fat? No. Nylon? No. Polyester? No. Protein? Yes. Proteins are condensation polymers of amino acids. So, the correct option for this question is option D. Question 41. 